lived and had a big basin with a bar in it. My parents and their friends spent their weekends there or in some other basin set up the same way. While we played on the floor and tried not to get stepped on, they partied. And during the week, we'd have our own happy hour. The leader had cabinet was lost, but we pretended. It must have sounded silly. Half of us in preschool was ordering drinks. A group of me I was a purist like my dad. He used to give me a sip of his beer to help me go to sleep when I was a baby, and to keep me quiet in my brother Little League games, or to shut me up when we were, we were traveling. Now he grounds me when he catches me drinking. He even puts his beard on long enough to gripe me about it. Sometimes I think I have a problem with alcohol. I wonder how that happens. And beer doesn't do it for me anymore. It takes the hard stuff. But I try to quit, and I do. There's not a week goes by I don't quit. Then when I give in and take a drink, I toss it all down and grab her another one, like I was dying of thirst. <coughs> then, when I give in and have another, I figure quitting will be easier if there's no booze around. So I drink it all. That system doesn't work. My ambition is to become a doctor, just like my father. I'm my father's girl. My greatest accomplishment is when I was 10 years old and was successful in chopping off the head of a chicken and dressing it for chicken dinner. My mother thinks I should take up quilting, but I told her never in my life will I prick my fingers till they bleed. Very definitely. My sister Flora is a good quilter, I guess. Mother says so all the time. Flora's favorite pattern is the sunbonnet too, and ever since Mother taught her how to do the applique blocks, she's probably made a dozen of the sunbonnet suit quilts. You know what they are. They're the little dolls with the big bonnets laying on the side. Flora makes each one different. In this one, her foot's turned this way or that. In the next one, she'll have a pink parasol. Or her house will be turned just so. People think they're so cute. Flora's made for everyone in the family. So now there are some other two quilts all over the house. She's made a couple for her friends too. And last spring when we all got promoted at school, she made them for the teachers. I nearly died. And she's still at it. I'm telling you, floors are me crazy with these some other two quilts. I decided to make a special quilt just for Flory. Like I said, I'm not a real good quilter, but I knew exactly what I wanted to do with this one. It's real small. Twin bed size, in fact. I don't think Flory's seen it yet. I mean, I guess you could say I did a few different things with Sunbonnet Sue. I call it the demise of Sunbonnet Sue. And I made each block a little different, just like Flory does. There's one of her being hanged, another one with a knife in her chest, eaten by a frog, eaten by a snake, struck by lightning, and all burned up. I'm sort of proud of it. I wish you could see it. It turned out real well. <laughs>